This house in where I used to live over half a decade ago perfectly describes what happened. For nearly a year, the world has went through a massive lockdown and have seen a number of different misfortunate events occurring from the virus spreading to multiple places to rioting across multiple cities all around the world and all sorts of disasters from earthquakes, tsunamis and even the financial market crashing due to multiple businesses shutting down in response to the pandemic, leaving most of us concerned on how we're gonna move forward from this. So during lockdown and quarantine, a lot of us had turned to the internet to find information or to communicate with one another and sharing ideas and experiences and even content, rather it's to keep us entertained or to learn learn something new that you would otherwise normally wouldn't do. We've seen horrible things happen, rather it's someone you know or someone that's close to you or even someone you never knew may also have been affected. Much like how the pandemic have severely affected the way I've lived my life even, leaving me to not be able to hang out with any of my friends but then most of them are either out of state or they really don't want nothing to do with me so this goes to show that despite all this and despite whatever had happened before should definitely say who your true friends are and so here I am about to cover the year 2020 and also plans for the year 2021 moving forward so this is where the 500 plus subscribers update begins while using recordings from the past that has never seen the day of light as the background. This is Landrider 7th, aka LR7 Land here, talking about some update as well as some other stuff that happened and planned for what I'll be doing next to my 500 plus subscribers. So many things had happened only this month alone, and at the time of recording this, there has already been some major events happening, and I'm very sure there are other ones that I have not mentioned shortly after this upload. So before I enter into what was going on for the half of 2020, there's going to be some changes in the way I make my content as well as the live streams that I want to continue to do. And I'm very sure a good number of you have reached out to me for various different things, but a lot of them have to do with Omega, in which the majority of you actually came from. There were originally plans for me to actually head out to several different places as well as visiting some people, and to an extent I have, as seen in one of my previous videos. However, due to low funds and not a suitable place as well as some other things that need to be taken care of before going anywhere else I had to stay where I am for the time being and had to get unemployment for a large majority of the year and just because I was left without a job didn't mean I wasn't busy with getting other things taken care of as doing so is actually my full-time job despite the fact that I don't always get paid for it but I'm very sure I get paid in other ways that isn't necessarily cash but anyways making content and what I really want to work on can be a real challenge, especially when you are occupied with other things. And sometimes you get discouraged because of the fact that not everybody will see them or no one is even talking about it. But despite all that, I'm still going to make it anyways because who knows if later down the line someone will actually want to take the time to see it. So I try to make my video content as well as other things that I post and upload online in the best of quality possible. Like for instance, on September 11th of 2020, I have officially released a music album that contains 28 different tracks, all in a span of five years, called Paranormal Conspiracy Paradox, in which it'll be the last that I'll ever be producing music, and will serve as a back catalog for music I could use for the rest of my video content. After that, I obtain a job working at the 2020 elections, as seen in 
one of my previous videos in which the majority of it was a lot of waiting and doing stuff when they ask with the only downside of it being very short lived but that's perfectly fine with me as I don't plan to stay there anyway. After November the 3rd when election day is over I have went on to work on some other stuff here and there and somewhere on November the 11th I caught COVID through my mom and sadly enough my grandma also caught COVID as well and for an entire month and a half I had to be spent self quarantine so uh, I could recover and during that time is when I started doing Omega interception streams and around that time is when word came out that I know how to appear on other people's screens when going on Omega and the next thing you know nearly a bunch of people have been asking me how I did it and for some time I've been really hesitant about creating a tutorial in fear that there will be those that'll use it for malicious intent and so I ended up delaying it up until another person decides to release their own to the point that I may as well make one that's better quality in which that video blew up and even though that's pretty much what I've been doing for that month unfortunately there was a time where I had to stop streaming completely all because I had to be there for my family and on December 16th of 2020 my grandmother passed away as there was nothing much more that the doctors could do to help her as she had already gotten several other existing health conditions and for the rest of the week me and my family were griefing and when breaking the news about it a good number of my friends and family have reached out including family members that I have not heard from in years marking December of 2020 one of the saddest times of my life while getting bombarded with people asking me how I did the interception calls which got really annoying also on New Year's Day I have reached 300 subscribers during a New Year's live stream and by the end of January I have successfully reached 500 subs and counting in which I do appreciate very much also in January some other events had happened including that time I intercepted Hyphonix's stream and well accidentally showed some inappropriate to the point we both had to delete our VODs and I'm guessing at this point he hates me for that I'll have to assume also here in the US right-wing extremists have stormed the Capitol building in response to the then president Donald Trump had incentivized to the point the military had to get involved in which resulted in a complete lockdown of the area something that has not happened since the Civil War and last another major event event happened in where redditors from r slash wall street bets had invested in gamestop stocks resulting in the stock market breaking while at the same time exposing the billionaires that were manipulating the market through corrupt means like bailouts just so they don't have to serve prison time so this goes to show how corrupt they truly are marking an historical moment in recent history also for this coming season I'm going to be very very busy with a lot of different things outside of the internet so if I haven't been uploading any content or have been streaming that often it's most likely because I have a full-time job or I am doing some other stuff or I'm studying now this doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna stop making content it's just going to be delayed quite a bit and on the contrary I do have plans in changing the way I streamline my content and there's many different topics I'd like to cover including those that I've always wanted to talk about several years ago but never came by to do so and I do hope that sooner or later I'll be able to cover those topics within this year there's also some stuff that I'm pretty hesitant in making as a lot of research had to be done on my part and the final thing is the possibility of me confronting a few select people in my life in which I'm not going to reveal who at this time some of them I'm going to see if I can reach out and find out what's going on and just like how I mentioned that there are people who I haven't spoke to in years and even if I do have their contacts and always the one reaching out they usually don't respond back and that's something that actually has been bothering me for quite a long time I'm not sure if this video will be seen by them so in case they do will you be prepared for when I do reach out to tell me what happened
so only time will tell. Anyways, I'll continue to update for any further changes and updates when I have the chance. In the meantime, while the internet is still intact, during these uncertain times, you can visit my website at www.landrider7.com as I will be posting some other contents there as well as the possibility of doing a major update on the whole website as it will be getting a new look later this year. Till then, this is LR7 about to get real busy with life and logging out.